I'm going to start by giving you guys the take home message uh, so you can tune off after my first slide. Um, basically, what, I, what we have now done is we've now enabled um, MakerP to run off of Discovery Environment. So um, I'm not going to go through all the steps of uh, MakerP. We'll need a lot more than five minutes for that. So, but this is, this is uh, MakerP, uh, the pipeline involved in uh, annotating the genome. Uh, and as you can see, there are a whole lot of uh, scripts, a whole lot of different algorithms that it uses for uh, different purposes. And so this was uh, a challenge when you're trying to build a, an app for this because there's um, e each uh, algorithm, each tool takes a whole bunch of different options. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, where to go to access Discovery Environment, this is the front page of the iPlan Collaborative website. And uh, that right there where the blue arrow is pointing, that's a link to the Discovery Environment. Uh, and so when you click on that, you basically, well, you don't see this, you don't get directly to this, you actually get a login page and you have to enter your login information. And then you see this. And what this is, is on the left you see three icons and one's for the data store, which is where you can store all your data. And then below that is where you want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start the... Uh, Thank you. Thank you. So uh, now the mouse is magically going to move there and click on the, uh, the apps link. And it's going to open up. And on the left of that screen, you're going to see, a, as the mouse is scrolling down, you're going to see a whole lot of categories of different uh, things that you can do with these apps. Uh, so depending on the type of function that you're performing, you can actually find that in that list. So as far as MakerP is concerned, so this particular uh, instance is going to be running on HPC on, on the TAC server. So, uh, so those, uh, those apps that have been integrated to run on HPC are right at the bottom of that, of that list. And uh, so what I've highlighted here uh, are three flavors, essentially, or three versions, three variations of MakerP on a Discovery Environment. Uh, one for running annotations on small genomes, one on medium sized and one on large genomes. These benchmarks are based off of Josh's uh, analysis. And so the, the, the big thing to remember here is if you have, you're trying to use genomes that are greater than 500 MB, uh, the best idea is to break them up uh, into, into smaller files so that uh, the, the analysis will complete. Otherwise, it will just, it'll just stop after a while uh, once you run out of the time and then you'll just have to restart. So it's not a big deal, but just keep that in mind. I'm sorry. So uh, not as flash as I imagined. So, um, so this is actually a, a um, going to quickly go through the input options. Um, so this, these are the input files. So those of you who have run Maker know that Maker takes uh, FASTA files for uh, the genome and the different uh, EST files, the protein files, and so on. So um, these are the, uh, this is where you would choose to enter them. And also Maker has something called a Maker Ops file. Uh, and there are two options that I've built into uh, this particular app. And one is to be able to um, either select your own uh, Maker Ops file or uh, define the parameters and that will uh, define the, uh, sorry, create the maker ops file uh, on the fly. So um, I'm sorry the video is a little slower than what I should have made it. Uh, but uh, when you click on the parameters file, you'll see the whole bunch of options that uh, need to be defined within maker ops file. So if you don't want to go through and enter a number on each one, uh, you can, you can uh, just um, uh, upload an, a maker ops file that you created. So um, I'm not sure how much time I have left, but um, so this is very quickly. OK, so that's a, a demo run. So this is just I just filled up all the uh, different uh, uh, the entries within the form, uh, selected my own maker ops file in this case, and defined a genome file uh, and the uh, protein and mRNA and EST files and all that stuff. And once you select all that options, right at the bottom right there, if you see, there's a, a button called Launch Analysis. Uh, and you click on that, and then you get your analysis within the Analysis folder, which is if you've used anything, uh, any tool within a DE, uh, you'll be familiar with that. Uh, and so how much time do I Am I over? You have no time left. I have no time left. Okay. okay. All right, so this is, uh, this is the... Um, the results after the analysis. So uh, if you're familiar with Maker Run, if you've done any Maker Runs before, you'll know that uh, the results are organized exactly as you would see it in the normal, uh, like uh, as you would have it run in the command line form. And uh, now what, the, what, what you're going to see is just going to go through the different results file. 
It's going to open up the GFF uh, with the, all the annotations available to you. So, um, sorry, I'm rushing through this. But uh, as I said, there is a tutorial available uh, on iPlant Wiki on how to use this. Uh, and if you have any questions on it, there are additional resources available. Uh, and also, if you have any questions, please post them on ask.ifancollaborative.org. Uh, 